Jared Poland. Frono's photo. Dot com here, old school style, at Alan's camera to do an unboxing and sniffy sniff of this Sony A9 body. Now this is a $4,500 body that a lot of people are looking forward to because it is a sports style camera that shoots those 20 frames a second. And I'm not here to give you all the different specs. I've already done a preview video, which you can click up in the I button to see the preview of it. What you're here to see is an unboxing sniff test and of course, a wind tunnel test. Uh, check out allenscamera.com for all of your used and new needs if you're in the United States of America. So here we go. It comes in a box. It feels like it weighs something. Now I'm gonna open it. Let's see. We have inside limited warranty. We don't need that. We have Capture One Express for Sony Phase One. We've got an offer for a credit card, because just what you need is an offer for a credit card inside the box of something that you just bought new. A user's manual in not English, a user's manual in English. You got that. Okay, nobody cares. Then you have an empty spot inside this box, opening it up to get to the real thing. You have a strap that says a, a 6A, 6, 6B. No, wait, it's upside down. It's an A9. Let's see what's in this slot. You have a charger. You have a, I don't even know what that is. What I really want to see here is the camera because I have to make sure everything goes back in just as it was. And if you hear some taping being done, it's probably Rob. But this is what you guys care about. This is what you want to see. This is a Sony A9 and it's smaller than you would expect, and it still doesn't feel good in the hands. I don't care what anybody says about these Sony cameras, they still are not ergonomically, ergonomically, ergonomically good feeling in your hands. They just aren't, and I don't care what anybody says. You, you Sony fanboys out there love your Sonys, and there's nothing wrong with that. They do a great job. They just feel like crap in your hands. This does not feel good in my hands, and that's the first time I've put it in my hands. Other than that, we know that this is a, fast shooting camera. We don't know how the autofocus is gonna be. It looks fine. It's small for a high-end professional camera. You wanna get the grip for this so you can not only look professional, because looking does mean something. You do wanna look good when you're shooting, but also you want that vertical release and the extra battery. Sony's done a good job with getting new batteries. The batteries last much longer than they used to, which is nice. I just can't get around how crappily this feels in the hands. Very not happy with that. Other than that, there's not a lot in this box, and this is really what I want to talk about. Smells like grilled cheese on Stroman's white bread with American cheese that came out of a package with margarine. Rob, did you ever use margarine? Who would ever use margarine? Margarine is no good for you. It's fake butter, just like this Sony is a fake cam... Uh, it's not really a fake camera. I'm just doing that to get you guys to be all happy. But other than that, let's see what we got around the outside. We've got a dial in the front, a dial in the back. None of it feels like it's in the right place. Again, I don't know what to tell you. It just doesn't feel good in the hands. And that's not me hating on Sony because I want to like Sony because they're doing some of the best jobs in the industry right now, pushing the future of photography. This is an interesting camera. I'm going to get my hands on it along with the Hebrew Trinity to go out into the world and do some shooting. That's what I want to do because I want to test this out to see how it is. I just wish it didn't feel so bad in the hands. Now we want to see how the wind tunnel test is. <sighs> Terrible. It gets a 0 0.3 out of 10 on the wind tunnel test. Why? Because it's shaped like crap and it feels like junk in your hands. And by junk in my hands, it just means like all of these protrusions are, are hurting my hands. And if they're hurting my hands, they're probably gonna hurt your hands too. It just doesn't feel good in the hands. And that's what I get out of holding onto this camera. And that's really all I can say about it. I just wanna keep it nice and clean. I'm not gonna turn it on. Um, you got your dials on the top. You got your dials on the back. You've got your hopefully two card slots on the side, which you do. You do have your two card slots. Don't know why they didn't put in the same type of card slot. You have two SD card slots. Why is one UHS-2 and one is not UHS-2 is beyond me. Spend the extra money, put the extra slot in there. That's exactly the same for the high speed, but so be it. So what has Sony done to the industry? They have forced the industry to look at themselves. Nikon's in some kind of trouble. They fired everybody. Sony is uh, Canon. They don't have a mirrorless solution that's really good just yet. 
but it's Canon. They have a ton of money to continue doing what they're doing. Um, and Sony is the one really pushing the future. They're coming out with the glass because everybody says they didn't have enough glass. Well, they're starting to hit with it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of adapting lenses to this. Anybody that says, oh, well, you can just adapt the Nikon and adapt the Canon lenses to this using an adapter. I'm not a fan of that. It just doesn't work as well as a native lens on it. So the native solution is what I'm personally after. And I can't wait to use this because I want to test it in the real world to see how it actually does. Is this worth $4,500? I can't tell you right now because this is just an unboxing and a sniffy sniff with a wind tunnel test that got 0.3 out of 10 because it's ergodynamic. Ergodynamics are absolutely atrocious. That's where I'm going to leave it. Old school style here from Alan's camera. Thank you guys. That's Brandon, if you can even see him in the back. Uh, if you need to get some used stuff, new stuff, go to alanscamera.com, check him out, and that's it. Unboxing Sniffy Sniff. Leave your comments down below. Give this a thumbs up if you agree with how poorly shaped this camera is because you've never held on to it, but you take my, my, um, my recommendation that it doesn't feel good in the hands because it really doesn't. And that's it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. You know what? Click up here. Check out some old stuff from Alan's camera. We're talking way back in the day. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe.